Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I will be actually opening two booster boxes of Vanguard. I'm going to be opening the Answer of Truth, as well as the Raging Tactics. Uh, they're extra boosters, extra boosters set four and nine. So I figured uh, they're pretty small. I usually do one box, but I said, why not? Uh, there's Overdress coming on the way and I have, you know, there's gonna be some stuff coming out and I have some older stuff and I figure I should start you know clearing uh, clearing through that stuff as we uh, get ready for all the new products that are gonna be coming out so we're going to start with the answer of truth which I have conveniently ripped up already uh, not too many five dollar plus cards in this set uh, we'd be looking for um, from top to bottom, uh, Special Vanguard Rare Oracle Queen Himiko, uh, Special Vanguard Rare Interdimensional Dragon Mystery Flare Dragon, and then a Vanguard Rare Oracle Queen Himiko, Special Vanguard Rare School Hunter Le Leopold, uh, Origin Rare Interdimensional Dragon Knight Lost Legend, uh, Vanguard Rare Interdimensional Dragon Mystery Flare Dragon, and Triple Rare Pencil Hero Hamsuke. With a couple cards barely missing the mark, honestly, Got a Goddess of Self Sacrifice Kushinata at 478, and Binoculus Tiger Origin Rare at 475 market price. So we start off, we got a little uh, Leopold Imaginary Gift Excel card, and also a second one back there. I'm not sure what that one is. But let's get cracking. So we are looking for uh, ideally. You know the SVRs or even the Origin Rare, but you know we, we know the likelihood of that. So we start with uh, Idol Teacher Hatsune, Battle Maiden Mihikari Hime, Steam Scala Kalin, Cyber Tiger, Talisman Angel, Bowstring of Heaven and Earth Artemis, and Tank Mouse. So you saw the other packs I was opening. I'm always talking about this. I'm always like, oh, when I open these other packs, oh, oh, these other packs. Sometimes I really do wish I just committed to just one card game. Battle Maiden in the Hikari Hime. Goddess of the Milky Way, Pleione. That, that's a, that's a wife. That's a, oh, whew, set that, set that aside right there. Steam Expert, Xerix. Cyber Tiger. Talisman Angel. Steam Mechanic, Naboo. And Eternal Goddess, Iwanaga Hime. Another waifu in the Genesis. Well, that makes sense, actually. All right. Heavy Brain Mormodon. Gun Bezel Dragon. Swift Runner of the Clear Skies Achilles. Witch of Big Pots Laurier. Or Laurier. Steam Bomber Diggle. Watch Witch of Cats <laughs> Cumin. Watch of Cats Pencil Knight Hamsuke. Not Pencil Hero, that's what we Pencil Hero. Alright, we've got a Deity of Shepherds of Volos. Quickie Quickie Worker. Blackboard Parrot. Ring Ring Worker. Roly Poly Worker. Steam Artist Abirata. Another wifey. And Armed Instructor Bison. Great nature. This is my first time opening this one. Actually, I, I picked up Answer of Truth and Raging Tactics, I think, with my first haul of Vanguard from my shop. And I, it's just been in my closet for, like, a couple months. Steam Hunter Lippet. Goddess of the Milky Way Pleione. Gun Bezel Dragon. Ring Ring Worker. Roly Poly Worker. Pencil Squire Hamsuke. And Battle Maiden Sahohime. But it's the triple rare. There's an origin rare of that card that is worth $3.87. Barcode Zebra, that is a funky looking creature. Witch of Frogs, Melissa. Primordial Draco Kid. Steam Doctor, Martash. Triangle Cobra. Administrator of Hope, Pandora. And Geograph Giant. to pull Oracle Queen Himiko. It doesn't even have to be the SVR. That looks sick, but the the art on the Vanguard rare Oracle Queen Himiko looks awesome too. 
Triad Dog, Steam Fighter Ane, Steam Hunter Lippet, Ruler Chameleon, Slip Pangolin, Wedge Move Dragon, and Goddess of Cell Sacrifice Kushinada. And it is the double rare. So this is one of the ones that barely makes, or barely misses the mark rather, with a market price of $4.78. Honestly, just an honorary mention at that point. Silver Wolf, Toolbox Wallaby, Strongbow of the Starry Night, Ulixes. That one looks sick. Alarm Chicken, Castanet Donkey, Twilight Hunter Artemis, and Speculate Chipmunk. Aiming for the Stars Artemis, Missing Clamp Dragon, Steam Fighter Memen, Mene, Dictionary Goat, Battle Maiden Kikurihime, A Screwed Dragon, and Lost Break Dragon. I haven't looked at some Gear Chronicle cards in a hot minute. I remember buying the uh, the Gear Chronicle trial deck when I was uh, like taught like actually how to play Vanguard. Witch of Frogs Melissa, Quickie Quickie Worker. Toolbox Wallaby, Witch of Big Pots Laurier, Steam Bomber Diggle, wow. Battle Maiden Izunahime, and Pencil Hero Hamsuke. So this card has a market price of $5.50. So that is a card that makes it an R5 and Up Club. We'll sleeve that bad boy. Set it right there. We got Strongbow of the Starry Night Elixis, Blackboard Parrot, Idol Teacher Hatsune, Steam Doctor Martash, Triangle Cobra, Steam Mechanic Nabu, and Oracle Queen ah. Himiko Vanguard Rare with a market price of $9.80. This is the one I wanted. Again, not the SVR, but still, like, honestly, it's sick because I think the, the background on the Vanguard Rare just contributes so well to the character itself. Like, just... It just dominates the entire frame of the image. I think this card is sick. Okay, so we got back-to-back 5-and-up -back cards. That's awesome. I don't want to get greedy, but it's our last pack. I paid $20 for the box. I'm $5 off. So, let's see. $5 off of our, let's see, barcode Zebra. Swift Runner of the Clear Skies Achilles, Gun Bezel Dragon, Steam Doctor Martash, Battle Maiden Kukurihime, Battle Maiden Izunahime, and Pencil Squire Hamske. All right, so that's fine. So $20 spent on the box and about, uh, about $10.50, you know, $10.50 made on the box. That's not bad. And I, I am, I am happy. I'm happy because I, I was definitely wanting to pull um, Oracle Queen Himiko. I would have liked to, to pull um, Battle Deity of the Night Artemis. Um, not a five dollar card, but a card with some sick art that I would have been interested in and uh, in having in the collection. But very sick. I mean, look, it's not often that you're like, hey, I really hope I get this card. And then look, I made, an, I made a compromise with fate. I was like, look, it doesn't even have to be the SVR. I will take the Vanguard Rare. And so I was bestowed with a gift for my modest request. So I'm gonna set those to the side for now and get into this Raging Tactics box. Insert. And this is our uh, imaginary gift force with Dead Heat Bull Spike on it. Set that off to the side. Set these tags out. So, Raging Tactics, I was not originally going to pick up. 
Um, it has Spike Brothers, Tachikaze, and Mega Colony. Um, I wasn't really a huge fan of them initially, but I actually think that Mega Colony has some really sick art. I think it like the the insect uh, armor in Monster Hunter is some of my favorite uh, designs. They have some of my favorite designs for the armor, and um, honestly, Mega Colony is it's right on the money. Like that's basically what what it is. <laughs> to be honest, I'm gonna set my uh, answer of truth cards off to the side. Giant Cannon Mutant Tower Horn, Armored Mammoth, Knockout Strong, Small Horn Dragon Baby Tops, Cannon Fire Dragon Sledge Ankylo, Sweetie Guard, and Machining Lady Bomber. So just to address it, this set does have more cards that are in the uh, 5 and up. Um, we've got some uh, SPs, some SVRs, uh, Vanguard Rares and I believe one or two triple rares that are worth five and up. So, let us see if we can get some ROA on this box. I would love to pull uh, Gunning Colio, even if it's the Vanguard rare. Machining Worker Ant, Well-Dressed Mutant Algo Billbug, Dragon Egg, Savage Rowdy, Savage Shaman, Fiery Light Dragon, Opti Calcerado, and Snapper Devil. So I know for a fact that none of the shmoney cards in the 5 and up club are double rares, so I'll just keep an eye out for triple rare and SP and SVR. Charged Dragon, Demetra Spark, Savage Mercenary, that looks sick. Giant Cannon Mutant, Tower Horn, Kill Parade Mevis, Silent Joker, Offensive Punter, and Hiding Killer Leaf. A nice little Mega Colony card there. Next, we got Charge Dragon Demetra Spark, Jackknife Janice, Armored Mammoth, Level Bumble, Silence Joker, Flare, Bat, Flare Blast Coyote. Fouling Net Mutant Splicizer. And. Oh, that was it. Yeah, Coyote was rare. My bad. I was so thrown off by this flaming furry individual. Alright, we got Well Dressed Mutant, Alga Billbug, Machining Worker Ant, Breaking Grandmobile, Cheerful Lynx, Cheer Girl Tiara. Deflagation Dragon Bomb Raptor and Brawny Jerk. We got Provoke Needle, Savage Augur, Red Light Mutant Flat Ray. That, that is that's actually a sick design. Shelter Beetle, Jewel Flasher. Big Blow Ted, and Machining Centipede. We have Soundwave Dragon, Tonatopuxu, Intrigue Center, Elevation, Elevation Wideout, Shelter Beetle, Jewel Flasher, oh, Detonate Barrel, and what is a triple rare? It is Power Back Ronaldo. A very exciting looking triple rare. Love the dynamic, uh, like, flare out of flash there. But it is a $2.07 market price. Right, we've got Jackknife Janice. Strong Acid Mutant. Gelled Slug. Savage Augur. Cheerful Lynx. Cheer Girl Tiara. Oh my god, there it is again, Savage Priestess and Clear Out Dragon Sweeper Procanto, which actually does meet the 5 and Up Club requirement. It has a market price of $5.97. So you are an honorary member of the 5 and Up Club. Now this card you'll see 
Again, we use TCG player market price for our five and up club rule. Now, if you check this card on TCG player, you'll see it has 44 listings and sells for as low as 94 cents. But, but we use the market price. We use the market price because people can undercut and they can lowball and they can also severely scalp and overcharge. So when applicable, we like to use the, uh, the market price. It is the only form of stability that we have. It would be a nightmare if every video I had to look up the entire set on eBay I recently sold and calculate an average. That's what the market price is for. We got Whip Tail Dragon, Basher Carno, Mecha Trainer, Breaking Grandmobile, Larva Mutant, Larva Draw, Larva Giraffe, actually, yeah. Medical Battler, Ranho, Flowery Terror, and Thundering Sword, Dragon, Anger, Blader. And it is a Vanguard rare that is a member wow. of the Final Club. Wow. With a value of $5.86, it comes in just under Clear Out Dragon Sweeper at Procanto. But if I say so myself, it actually has a much better background. If you look this card up uh, on TCG Player, you know, a lot of their photos do not really showcase the foil. Uh, this is sick. <laughs> this is awesome. Look at this. The fine, uh, the fine lines and the foil like around the lightning almost makes the lightning come alive a bit. It's really cool. It's a really cool card. Look at that nice texture on the foil too. See who do we got next? Who do we got next? Whiptail Dragon, Basher Carno, Hateable Spot, Dragon Egg, Soundway Dragon, Tona Tapuksu, Savage Rowdy. Oh, 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 oh. It's so they stick together, man. Detonate Barrel and Flowery Terror. This is our second to last pack. So let's make these last two count. What do you say? We've got Savage Mercenary, Knockout Strong, Strong Acid Mutant, Gelled Slug, Savage Shaman, Kill Parade Mebus. Okay, Light Play Dragons, Angel of Foe, and it's a double rare. Uh oh, guys, it's. Wait, it's Gun Wild Wolf, which unfortunately would have made the cut if it was the SP. That is unfortunate, but as always, the art looks sick. I actually can see why. You know, they like so people people want the SPs obviously because they're more rare, but because it doesn't have the the white window behind the text that explains their effects and stuff. So it showcases the art more. And this is a card that I think would be really cool to have the SP of because this this individual just looks sick. Just honestly looks like like he hangs with Garurumon. He just he just hits the gym with Garurumon. And honestly, his games are much are much larger. No offense to Garurumon, my favorite Pokemon. Intrigue Center, Mega Trainer, Elevation Wideout, Larva Mutant, Larva Draft, Medical Battler Runley, Angry Roar Dragon, Roar Barrio, and it's a double rare with Turbo Smilodon. Unfortunately, not meeting the five and up club requirement. So, with these two cards, we are seeing about it's, it's just under twelve dollars uh, for the uh, for the Schmoney Club ROI of Raging Tactics. So we didn't meet the twenty dollar box cost, and we also didn't meet the twenty dollar box cost for Answer of Truth with Pencil Hero Homsky and Oracle Queen Himiko. That being said, I am willing to take that L solely for one card, and that is Oracle Queen Himiko. And even discarding her existence, which you didn't see, was me off to the side making the waifu pile. I mean, look, the waifus were, well, this one's just another Artemis card, not a waifu to you. 
Twilight Hunter Artemis, Steam Hunter Lip, and Steam Fighter Ane. Administer of, Administrator of Hope Pandora, Goddess of the Milky Way Pleon, dude. Steam Artist Abirada, Eternal Goddess Iwanaga Hime, and another Pleon. I mean, the look, the waifus were there, dude. If you look, look, if you want, if you want waifus, you, you pick Genesis. That being said, with Overdress coming out, if you intend to play Standard, you know, we're, we're shifting around a bit. We're shifting around a bit. You're going to have to go by nations, and you're going to have to see where your clans are in those nations. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Bermuda Triangle has its own nation, which, you know what? Not even remotely shocking. Not even remotely shocking. They were like, these people are going to need their own boxes for when the, uh, for when those boxes, like, those boxes and those sets come with, uh, with Bermuda Triangle, those, those weebs that are looking for their lolly mermaids are going to, they're just going to need their own box all to themselves. And you know what? More power to them. Whatever. You collect what you want. Lollies aren't my thing, but it, look, no, I'm no judgment. No judgment on the mic anyway. Off the air, I might talk some smack. I'm going to be an honest man with you. But that aside, that aside, this was okay. I really just was like talking to my friend on Discord, and I was like, you know, now I am fiending to buy a box because Overdress is so close. Um, well, at the time of this video's release, actually, Overdress will already be out. The, uh, the start decks will already be out. But I'm recording this on uh, May 11th. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, for now, that's all. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, night, evening. Have a good one. Jimbo out.